board voting to seriously consider a testing boycott tonight. It is a big risk for the district, the first in the state to consider going against New York's education guidelines. And the superintendent is not on board with it. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jill Perkins live in the town of Tonawanda tonight with more on this. Jill. Well, that's right, Joanna. This is truly groundbreaking. As you mentioned, this Board of Education, now the only one in the state to take this admitted risk, the board voting unanimously tonight to move forward with considering boycotting certain state education requirements. The board wants to do away with standardized testing completely. They also want to eliminate test scores being used as 20% of a teacher's evaluation. Now, the state has already warned the Board of Education, if they move forward with this, that they will remove its members from office. The board is also aware that they could lose a lot of state funding and teachers could even lose their teaching licenses. Those reasons are exactly why the superintendent is totally against what the Board of Education voted to do tonight. But it was clear those in attendance tonight are willing to take this risk. I feel like boycotting these tests and will result in a change that we absolutely need for our education. And whatever the consequences are, any time there has been great change in our country, it has been for somebody to be a risk taker. That's further than anybody's ever gone before. And, you know, bottom line is we're given a warning. Uh, you know, I, we're not playing games anymore. Now, the audience was actually polled as part of tonight's informational hearing. We can tell you that 281 people voted the same way that the board ultimately did. 22 people, though, were against this. But again, this is only to consider moving forward with boycotting these state practices. The board is hoping to have an official decision within the next uh, week and a half because students are going to be scheduled to take those tests on April 14th. The board is also hoping that other districts around the state will jump on board and follow suit. We're live in the town of Tonawanda tonight. Jill Perkins, 7 Eyewitness News.